free kick to the ramps. Luton have lined up the wall. Three Derby players over the ball. We've seen this training ground set piece before. I think it might be left for Matt Oakley. Indeed, it is right footed. All strikes the crossbar. Derby so near to going in front. And Matt Oakley disappointed not to have got the opening goal. Great strike from him. The keeper was nowhere. And it struck the woodwork with ferocity. Corner kick to the Rams, which David Jones will take from the left hand side. Chance perhaps for Derby to go ahead in this game. Steve Howard tussling in the area there with Chris Coyne. Overcomes the corner, cleared by Luton. Not fully out of the area yet, though. Breaks for the Rams, 30 yards out. It was Giles Barnes who dribbled a shot wide, but Steve Howard is having words with the referee here. He feels that his shirt was pulled by Coyne inside the penalty area. Didn't see much of it myself on first glance, but look at that replay. All over Howard is Chris Coyne. Eight minutes to go till half time. In it comes left footed. Up goes the header from Leacock, saved on the line, bundled it in the back post, Derby are ahead. I think it's Lewin Nyatanga returning here or not in the Derby County team since September. And it looks like he may have put the Rams in front, yes, looking at the replay, it is indeed Lewin Nyatanga. A scrappy goal but the old count and Derby are 1-0 up over Luton Town. In at the back post, clinical as you like, in fact it just bumped in off his shin didn't it but the good news is that the Rams are 1-0 up. Here come the Rams searching for a second goal in towards Barnes, headed down, back off the crossbar. Shot comes in from Howard, that's cleared off the line. Desperate defending from Luton. In came Barnes with a header. In fact, I think it came off a Luton man last of all, bounced off the bar and Howard couldn't quite turn it in. Hit a combination of Gary Teal and a defender on the line. Rams boss Billy Davis can't believe his side haven't doubled the advantage. 